Baby Homer Davis and welcome back to babylady.co.uk. We're upstairs in our furniture showroom today and in our compare and contrast videos we thought we would talk to you about the differences between cots and cot beds because some of you ask why would I buy one over the other and what would be the best option for me? Well hopefully in this video I will explain the differences and then you'll be able to decide which is going to be best for you. So first of all I'm going to start with this cot. So this is a standard size cot, not all cots come up the same size so obviously if you're buying bedding and mattresses you will need to check your cot size. This is 120 by 60 internally and that's the internal measurement. Um, that's quite an average size in this country. You can get different ones. Ikea make very strange size um, cot beds, and cots rather. And also we do do a very small cot called a space saver cot if you need something very, very compact. So I say it's quite neat. It's generally um, cots will be a little bit lighter um, and they'll be cheaper. So if you're on a budget, you haven't got a huge amount of money to spend, then a cot may well be an option for you. They will still have, our cots all have three position adjustable bases. So you'll be able to adjust the base down. As your child grows, you will be able to adjust it so that they've got more room uh, and more height. So they're not going to be able to get out of it. Uh, and this would generally last you. We would expect this to last an average child two, two and a half years. So perhaps if you have a junior, if you have a, a, a single bed in your house already that you're planning on moving your child into, um, then that may well be an option for you. If you've got a very small room or you want to keep baby in with you, again, that may well be something you'll prefer a cot over a cot bed. Uh, we've got our cot bed, uh, one of our best selling cot beds standing right next to it. So you can really see the difference in the size, I think, here. Um, it's a lot bigger, so it's actually 140 by 70, so it's 20 centimetres longer internally and 10 centimetres wider. Um, so you're going to get a lot more growth room out of it. Again, it will have the three position adjustable bases and you will be able to use this a lot longer. So if you're looking for something with longevity, something that will grow with your child, then this will give you a lot more options. Uh, a cot bed would generally last you as a cot on its own, maybe up to three years. And then you, what you do is you take these panels out here. They actually come apart and then this stands on the floor without this panel, try and visualise it, um, and that becomes a little junior bed, almost like a Goldilocks bed, um, and that's quite useful if you don't have a bed for your child to go into and you want the growth, maybe you've got their own room and you want them to stay with their furniture, then you might consider that actually a cot bed is a lot better option for you, and certainly here I would say that the majority of our customers do actually buy cot beds because they do have that growth. Um, some cot beds we have will have drawers underneath them, so you might like that because it has options in terms of storage, uh, but again, they, they will be generally bigger and last you longer. But that also means they will be more expensive. So you've got to take into account this will cost you more, but it will last you long longer. I mean, you can get cheaper cot beds, but do be careful because if they're very, very cheap, they tend to be very flimsy. Um, I like really sturdy cot beds and the ones that we buy in here um, are all quite solid. Um, even the clearance ones will be very solid. So with our cot bed... Generally, we would recommend you buy a sprung mattress for a cot bed because you're going to use it longer, because you're going to use it five or six years, you really do need a good quality mattress in it. If you buy a foam mattress, a foam mattress, even a good quality foam mattress, will generally last you two, two and a half years. So it'll tend to dip after a period of time, whereas your sprung mattress won't do that. In fact, even after five or six years, it will look like new. Well, our mattresses do, and, and uh, I've, I've used them myself, so I know that they do. With your cot, you can get away with a foam mattress because um, you're not going to use it so long. It will still start to dip and you'd be better using a sprung mattress. But if, if you're looking to save money, then a, a sprung mattress will be more expensive. So again, this may decide, you may decide, actually, I've got a limited budget that I want to spend on something like this. And that's why a cot is going to be a better option for me. As I said, we talked about the size. If you've got a very small space that you wanted to go into, obviously this is significantly smaller. So if you haven't got a lot of room, you may also find that a cot is a better option for you. Uh, whereas if you've got a room that's maybe a little bit bigger, a cot bed may grow better and last you longer. I hopefully have covered some of the main points here. Do feel free to book an appointment to come and see them in person and we can talk to you um, and you can obviously see them for yourself. And if you have got any questions, as I said, do feel free to message us if there's anything you think I've missed. Um, if you're on our YouTube channel, you can message us below. Or if you're watching on Facebook, again, just send us a message. I um, would like to thank you for watching today and I hope that you found this video helpful.